we have to be careful about the andolana movement which we do for the first tadavu in mohiniyattam so that's what we are beginning with here so it goes tei ti ti as it is bhakti the item you know expressing tei so this movement will come for the hands for the eyes and for the the overall body movement with the kal mandala ara mandala kal mandala ara mandala movements so after we come here and completing this one the drishti shri chakra raj simhasaneshwari shri lalita hambige bhuvaneshwari here we have to be very careful how subtle the hand movements or how precise we can hold the same mudra it not need not do it this way so ambike bhuvaneshwari the mind the eye and the mind concentration or the reaching the mind, when you reach the you know when you can reach the mind there this hand is enough work we are going to bring in the mandalas which is going to bring that complete andolana movement we already talked about the hand in andolana movement and the eyes also in andolana movement so let's uh, see how we can do the andolana with the body so beginning with the vaishnava pada can i see that vaishnava pada once more yes bring it closer little more apart the foot little more apart bring it Yes there you go and now standing to the side body bending to that side so she here, here she is going to focus on doing the eye movement also not the hands so let's start spreading bring in the body to the center in aramandalam bend to the side and then get up bringing in the legs again spread your legs body straight in ara mandalam bend to the side and then get up so let's see that complete andolana movement here one more time to the side spread your legs bring in the body to the center bend to the side bring in the legs and get up so that is kal mandalam hey Shri Lalita